Hello, it's Sarah. I'm still making tiles, guys. I don't think I'm ready yet. I think I still need a couple more batches. Now, mind you, when I say, oops, I have some crystals over here. When I say batches, mine aren't very big. Um, I think I make <laughs> like one tile like this big at a time. Two. I've been doing two, two tiles like this. So kind of just like and I have a pretty big toaster oven, so, you know, like this many tiles. So I just wanted to show you some of the, of the designs that I'm, I've got here, maybe that you haven't seen. I did these little Buddha head guys. Um, kind of different clay choices, too. This was black clay. This was like a darker brown clay. And this is a tan clay, so, because I just wasn't getting the like effect that I wanted. Let me zoom in. I didn't get a lot of good definition on, I mean you can tell what it is so that's fine. Um, so I was trying all the different colors of clay and then I mounted them on a piece of black and then I just put the blue, um, this one I got the most elaborate with blue beads, blue Swarovski, that's why these are out, these little Swarovski crystals. Um, you know, I just thought, now when I do the, uh, cradle board, I thought that could be kind of cool on here. I think I want to do, like, I'm going to do this today, probably on camera. Now I can't find it. It says, here, follow your dream. Um, I'll find it. It's, it's probably right in front of me. I just can't see it. Um, a stamp, oh, here it is. So this says, follow your dream. No, follow your heart. Anywho, so I'm going to do that. But I just wanted to share a couple. Because on the frame, I'm not as limited. Well, I'm limited by size. But I think I don't really need a, um, a centerpiece. And like, composition-wise, it can just be a little bit more free. But when you do a piece that's like a plaque, you kind I think I think personally that it looks nice if you have a theme, like maybe put the Buddha in the middle and then follow your heart, you know, above it. So and then it, you know, it'll kind of look like a composition. So I'll I'll get to that when I start to put put these things together. But I wanted to show you so I did do a couple of big Buddha and I cut this one down because I wanted it to fit the frame. You saw those. I did a big dream catcher. These are just little filler tiles that I cut apart. These are um, from this. They kind of looked cool and I just stamped them out and then I put little Swarovski crystals in there. This one I did in more of like a blue background. It's a little bit of a different pattern. So all of these are kind of filler tiles that I can cut if I need to. I'm really hoping to use, well this one I'll definitely cut, but when you add beads to them, if you cut them, your beads fall out. So I have quite a few of those. I think I still need more. What's funny is when I'm making them, I like to do a bunch of different ones. I don't repeat too often. I made more um, mandalas last night. I love these so much. They're so simple, but you get such a bang for, look how pretty. With just like a gem, one gemstone, this one I put like seed beads around the outside and a little orange Swarovski crystal in the middle. This one has a little uh, spacer flower shape there, a metal spacer with a red Swarovski crystal. This one has a blue Swarovski crystal. Another blue with some gold. Um, let me wipe this. I'm going to wipe it. It looks like there's mica powder. Let me just wipe. Sometimes the mica powder gets on the gems. Um, so yeah, I think I, I don't know if I showed you these. These this was that um, cherry blossom stamp. So I stamped it out and then I just cut it into pieces. So I have quite a few of those. So I'm getting there. Um, so today, like I said, and I don't know if I showed you this one. Again, it's just another, I think it was like 
this it was in a four pack of random just random tiles I mean I'm sorry stamps this one it's this stamp and it had four dot spots so I filled it with crystals and then I just echoed the color with mica powder around I like how those turned out I only did like two of them though so that's why I like it's it's very each piece is going to absolutely be a one of a kind but omg you guys I've I, last night James was so James is living here again my son James he went to Japan last year and as I'm showing him these things and I was like yeah and I embed this and I do that and he's because he happened to see the coin that was like this so I embedded one of these coins it's like a uh, charm that I bought at Michael's he's like well I have some yen so he gave me all these yen. I like these, the 50s, because they have a hole. Like, look at this. I'll try to zoom in on it. Because it has, like, a little flower pattern on there. Look at that. So I'm going to embed this in the clay. And it's an actual yen. With flowers and stuff. On the back it just says 50. And I have no idea what else, but like I could put a little Swarovski in the middle of that. These aren't as shiny, like they're kind of dull, but I think like it has like a wheat kind of pattern and a couple of little, I think I might use these. I'm not sure which side. Then these are like, just have a one and you know, they're not as interesting. Some of them are a little, kind of like the 10, the 10 is kind of cool. Uh, but I pref I really loved these, these ones, the 50s. They're my fave. And he has a ton more. So I just took like a little handful. Oh, sorry. You can't even see them, what I'm pointing at. I'm sorry. I'm a little zoomed in. That's why I don't like the zoom. Um, so yeah, I'm going to embed a few yen. And then I think I'm going to be done. But what was I going to do? So right now I want to do that follow your, what is it? Heart. I want to see what that's going to look like. But, I mean, it's a process. This whole, um, like this, I was going to do, I think I did do this last night, didn't I? Oh, man. You know what? It might be in the oven. I didn't even bring this up last night. I think they're still in the oven. Um, I'll go get them. I'll go get my tray that's in the oven. I'll be right back. All right, it wasn't in the oven. It was, it was just this one. I had, this was the, it was a small tray that I did. I'll show you. I am now working. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen, Jen. Jenny's here. I'm working on, with Sculpey clay. So this is the, not the Primo, but the Sculpey 3. So this is it. This is this little stamp. It was just flowers, and I put, again, just as a filler. Um, all right. Sculpey 3 is a much softer clay, in my opinion. And I don't love it for doing this type of work because I like to have a little more um, of, of a firm clay helps because it keeps the shape much better. So let's see what this is going to look like. Follow your heart. Even pressure. But like I said, it, the polymer plastic of the stamp and the clay itself being soft may distort so we're gonna try and be gentle Sarah um that's not bad I think you can see it I think I might go with that it's a little deeper on that side dang it I do I want to do it again but the more I run this through the pasta machine the softer it gets so I really just want to do it like one and done I'm not a one and done kind of girl I'm a several. I don't know why I can't get even. I'm going to stick my head in it. All right. Even pressure. A little rock and hope for the best. That's better. I love that. Okay. Now the trick is too, and I got out a different blade. One of you guys had mentioned, does my blade get dull from using this glass? Well, you have to use glass or a tile. You have to. The clay isn't going to work. It's not going to be able to come off any other surface. It's, it's sticky. So, uh, but see, if it's 
it's not there we go I released it I don't want to distort it too much so let's I'm gonna wait to cut it because I'm gonna embed now I don't know if you can see it but there are little tiny flowers and a heart I'm just pulling the clay to get it back into shape but OMG so cute I'm gonna put I have several different like millimeter I guess beads um, I want to use my tiny gold ones so I have these gold ones and these gold ones and I think oh no wait that's the same gold ones these gold ones and those I think these are smaller so I'm going to pour a few of them in here I'm pretty sure they're smaller and I don't like this color as much as that color either the bigger ones are like a definitely a brighter gold but you know look it's not like it's a necklace or something it's one tile in the middle of a bunch of tiles I'm gonna put these yeah I am here and here man I wish I had something even tinier because these are so tiny these flowers I think I'll put see how much bigger that is I don't really have anything any smaller um I could instead of it being a flower at all I could just put a little gemstone Maybe I'll do that. I think I'm going to use one of the bigger golds and just put it a bead there instead of it being a flower at all. Oopsie. And sometimes the bead gets, it holds on to. Alright, and then I do have, I think I am going to put, let's see, I'll put one of these up here. There's a tiny one here and, nope, not over there, just tiny one here. And then there's a tiny one there and there. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to fill it with beads. That those two are a little bit bigger that's a little bigger I could put I'll put crystals in there that one really looks like a flower though and so does that these two look like a flower and these two look like a flower I don't think I can you put one of these little golds kinda lose the flower because they're it's too big alright and then I'm going to put crystal, 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 four crystals, and that's it. And then I'll paint it with um, mica powders. So what color crystals? I think red. I am loving. This is the latest um, crystals that I got on clearance. Um, these red ones are tiny, but the bigger one, it's like a little AB. Isn't, I don't know if you can catch it, but I think I'm going to put them... It's a little too big. I'm going to go with the smaller one. I don't have a like little grippy tool for crystals. I could just wrap a piece of um, clay around the end of a toothpick and pick them up probably, but I just licked my finger. <laughs> but I think that looks good. Um... All right, let me move these before I spill them all. And I'm going to straighten these out. But I can, can, I don't know if you can, this clay is so soft. And I don't prefer it. But I'm going to use it, obviously. And when it bakes, it bakes. I mean, it's going to be baked. It doesn't, doesn't change that. The baking gets as hard as the other kind. It's just the, the work you do beforehand. So I'm going to gently 
embed them. Then maybe I should release it from the clay to I mean from the um sorry, I'm fo I'm not focused because I have all this stuff on my desk. Chaos is happening here. Let me move some more things. Okay. Um let me zoom up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing a little better. I'm going to release it from this, whatever it's called. Oh, it's already good. Okay. I am going to cut it. My head might get in the way, but I just like to eyeball it. So I need to kind of get over it a little. Let's embed one of these yen things too. I wonder if I could clean this off a little. I don't even know, like, it's weird because this one, this dollar one or whatever, is so light. But listen to it. And then listen to this. Much heavier. Like, this is like an American coin. This feels like it's like, like a game, like a game chip. Like you would get in a game, a money game that you have. I don't like them. I like this one a lot. I don't know which is the top and which is the bottom. All right, let's put you in. And I'll probably pop it out. And, oh, I could put a little, oh. <laughs> this is how soft this clay is. It's popping through the center. I could pop it out and glue it in better after it's baked. Um, I'm going to do another one. Cool. All right, let me finish what I was doing with this guy. It looks a little bit taller on that side. This is my, this is where I get crazy because I start trimming and trimming and trimming. Oh boy. All right, good enough. So let's color. I'm gonna go. I have to go pink in the hearts because I don't and I'm gonna get it eventually when I see it I will be on the lookout, but I for red um, Mica powder, but right now I'm just using pink or I put stickles and I can't find it, but I have this red stickles So I'll put red stickles over it maybe but let's just do a little painting Let me think I'm probably gonna do the flowers, these four flowers, I'll zoom back in. <coughs> the four, I gotta do this dragonfly too. The four flowers and <coughs> the heart. I mean, I don't have to use pink. I don't know, guys. What is this? Not blue russet. All right, fine. It's got to be pink. This is flamingo pink, so it's kind of bright. Flamingos are super cool birds, by the way. I really enjoyed, We last time we went to the Lake Zoo, we have a zoo, the Cape May Zoo, and it's just a little zoo, but man, those flamingos are super cool. The way they drink, their beaks are like backwards. They have these little bent beaks, and they like duck their beaks down and get the water inside. It was like really cool. I like birds a lot. I think birds are freaking cool, man. I have birds, obviously, but... I mean, I could put... put a little bit around each of these to kind of give them a glow of pinkness.
It really starts to come to life, doesn't it? I'm going to leave that one. We're going to do... Oh, no, that's pink, too. Durr. Sorry for my head. All right. I'm going to do green around all this, like, little viney stuff. So let me... I like this spring green as my fave, but I was really using this duo green yellow a lot. I don't know if this might be, I think I put the green in the leaf part and then I did the duo green yellow and it kind of looks gold, but it's greenish gold. Um, anywho, I'm going to use my spring green, spring, spring green. And this is in the, um, Pearl X powders. There's perfect pearls and Pearl X. I don't know what the difference is, but um, I have more colors of the Pearl X. So let's just go down here. You, know, you need very little. Tiny bit. I just dip my brush in the lid. And it really... This stuff will last forever. I bet it would. I mean, I don't know if literally forever, but for my lifetime, I'll bet you. Uh-oh, I forgot to put pink around that guy, did I? Oh, maybe not. Um, all right. I think I've got green. Now, what should I do? Follow your heart. I'm thinking. Let me think. I have so many colors. Gold. Like, see, most of my big ones. I'm going to zoom back up a little. I have, like, like, look, here's, I love this. A quiet moment of reflection. I do the word with, like, a gold, and then I add color to the outside edge. I think I'm going to do that. I answer my own questions. When I talk to myself. I, I, fig I figure it out. This is called Aztec gold, and this is called solar gold. Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to go with the Aztec and just gently I really just want to touch the clay that's not down inside. Or, you know what I mean. I'm going to put a little above the heart. I'm going to put purple and blue. Because um, I am in love with this purple. This is called Misty Lavender. But it's actually like, I think it has a little shift in it. And that just means that it's kind of like you can see a couple colors, but it's it's very pretty color. Um, on the outside. I don't know why. just so I could put something else in there. Maybe more gold or orange. I think orange, but the orange just looks gold to me. So I don't really have any other colors, like blue. That's the only color. I have like copper and silver, yellow, bronze. I'm gonna use this blue, the sky blue though. It's a little lighter. I have white. nice um I love it I really do and I do think I will put some um some stickles on the heart but I like that follow your heart maybe I need another one of those 
I might have to do another one. I'll do it off camera. Um, so this has to go on a tile to be baked. And I'll do the dragonfly. I have a dragonfly already made, but he's like with green clay, so I want to do one in black. I'm being picky, but I think it needs a tad cut off there. So I'm gonna I just lay it on a tile. That's gonna go in the oven. So let oh I gotta do these yen. I really um I really should clear my desk, but I'm not done making tiles yet, so I have all this stuff all over. Um, I think I'm just going to bake the... I could actually put some color on the outside of the, um, the... on the black, and I haven't done that with any of my other embedded tiles, so why start now? Isn't that crazy that I actually have a real yen? I'm so excited about that. Wasn't that sweet of him to think of that? I mean, he, you know, they, they tolerate my craftiness. They're not, you know, I have boys. They're not crafty, but they tolerate my, I have to show them everything I do. All right, so now I'm going to do this dragonfly. Yeah, this clay is so soft compared to the um, <clears throat> Primo. So, see, and I have a whole, this is the bar. This is the Sculpey 3. And it's just a lot uh, softer to start with. Like, I can even feel like I just went right down into this. That's pretty good. I like that impression. Let's release it, and then I'm going to put little red eyes. They're kind of big. I'm going to go to these. These aren't actually red. They're kind of like a purpley red, but I think they're a tiny bit smaller. Sometimes I like, I'm going to cut the tip of my toothpick because I don't want to, I cut the tiny little tippy -dee, tippiest tip off and then I won't crash into the clay as much. It's just going to be And then, like, I could put stuff in the rest of him. Like, what about, I'm going to use these little gold ones for his body. Maybe we'll put a big, something big here. What color? I kind of want a gold, like a big gold. Dragonfly bodies are, like, I think of them as, like, a greenish. Ah. Oh. No, that's blue. Like, this is, yeah, like a greenish purple. An iridescent, like, let's see what I have. I know I'm zoomed in. Let me zoom back up. Sorry. Um, these are the ones, like, these are the ones, I'm going to use this, I think. Eh, it might not show up, but these are kind of brown. They're so cool. I wish I had, like, a purpley green. These are the ones that I got from, um, oh, I'm going to use that bag for the blue. I got those off of a broken um, Swarovski ornament thing. These yellow and orange ones might be good. Maybe orange. These are just AB, like clear AB. When I, when I say AB, I think you know what I mean, but it's Aurora Borealis. That's what I mean. I ooh, Wait a minute. These are the brown ones. See, I've been, I fling things around and um, I have to look. Maybe I'll just use, oh, I just dumped this lid. It's all right, it's not that many. Um, 
Maybe I'll just use these because they're so stinking pretty. Oh my gosh, why can't I make decisions? <gasps> I just can't. And then I have these. These None of these are actually, there is green in here. I think I'm going to use the green. I haven't done a lot of green, and then I should have in here. This is the um, my little seed bead thing. There's a green in here. These little tiny, ooh, look at these. Those are pretty cool. Kind of like, this is, this is just a green. I think I'll use this. I'm going to use these and a green. And we'll use orange for the wings, maybe. And then I'll do gold. Okay, that's going to look cool. You know what? Talking to you guys helps me a lot. It helps me figure out what I want to do. All right, let me pick up these beads. Oh, boy. I mean, it's not that big a deal. There weren't very many. So that's why... Using these lids is a great idea because you don't put out too much at one time. And you can really, the lids are working out great. Um, Alright, so let's finish him. So I have green. Here it is. Just pour a few of these out. Oh, that was way too many. And I think there's like a little, boop, boop, boop thing. I think I'm just going to put them there. There's a dark green and a light green in here. Kind of like a see-through green and a not see-through green. A lot of times you buy the packs of these and they do that purposely to get like a nice mixture, like a, a little bit of a variation. Um in your project, which is kind of cool. Uh, I think, whatever, whatever happens, happens. Let's just start. I think I'm tending to grab the more translucent ones. I'm looking for something that's not as, I don't know why. I wish I did, guys. I wish I knew why. And then I'm going to put some... I could do gold or orange, but I have... Like, I have yellow. I have these orange. These would be cool. I'm going to put these in the wings. And then I could do it pink. Pink and orange looks really pretty. I'm going to do... I'm going to... I'm going to put some of these orange like in all the ends of the swirl. So I'm just going to put here. This is going to be so cool. But look, it's one tile. That's the thing. Each one of these is my baby when I do it like this. It's not like a cookie cutter situation. So crazy. OMG, I love it. I guess I could put a little something on the tip of his little antennae, right? What color should I put up there? Gold? or I'm going to put golds. The little tiny golds. I don't know why. Yes. Okay. Oh, boo, boo. I have so many open containers, it's a hazard. It's a seriously serious hazard. So that doesn't look like much. But let's do the magic now. So, uh, I don't 
don't know, this looks a little big over here, but whatever. All right, here we go. I'm thinking I'm just going to do gold. And then I'm going to put purple and blue around the edges. That's what I'm thinking. Although the body, I could put green. And I was going to do pink for the wings because pink and orange. That's what I was going to do. So let's do that. So I have green for the body. Did I push down the crystal already? I'm not sure. I think I did. And then pink for the wing, right? I don't know. Mm, yeah. Oh, I just went to the store this morning, but I got a parfait. My Acme has um, like a little pre-cut fruit section and like little, you know how Wawa, well, those of you who don't have Wawa's on the, on the West Coast, they have like pre-cut veggies and fruits and things you can get. Anywho, I got a parfait. Strawberries and blueberries and yogurt and granola. I'm so excited. All right, I think I'll put gold there and gold around them first. What did I cover up my gold now? Is he coming to life? Not really. And then this is the dark blue. I'm sorry, you guys. I just can't. I don't know why I can't see things that are probably right in front of my face. Here it is, the light blue. And they blend really nice. Like, you don't see where they, one stops and one starts, which I really like. And then I'll put purple on the very outside edge. Um, I love it. Uh, okay, I'm just saying, like, it's super cute. And it came to life, right? So I don't even think we needed all those beads or anything, but they're there, and I know they're there. I might do another one of them, too. They're really cute. So that's it, you guys. I'm going to continue making tiles. Hopefully the next video. Um, all right, I'll leave you with this. The next video, I may be starting to arrange um, and come up with my layout. But I need to base coat my substrates, and if they're wood, you need to um, prep this or seal it, rather. So I'll probably coat this whole thing with a nice coat of gesso, acrylic, white acrylic gesso, sand it gently, just to take off the, the tooth, and then I'm going to coat this with probably just Glorious Gold is my one of my go-to golds. I have a lot of different metallic paints, so, but that is, if it's full, here we go, let's see what this one's called. Um, this is just called Metallic Gold, and this is an enamel, and actually it's much fuller, so I may use this, and it's just a background. You're barely going to see it, but I want the, the gold paint 
to show through and I, I like lost my tiles. I have, oh here they are. <laughs> um, so the gold is going to be my grout lines, right? So that's what you're going to see in the background. Um, or you could just base it black. It might look super cool with black. I don't know. Even though the tiles are black, I haven't really left any, I mean, except for my embedded tiles now that I mention it. Just those little ones like this. But I could also paint, put gold around the edges with the gold paint. There's a lot of different things you could do. So the first thing you definitely want to do is seal it. And if I but see if I'm painting it black, I would probably just paint it black and mix my meta, my um, sealer in with the paint. Give it a nice coat of that and then sand it and then give it another coat with just straight black. And that might be a good way to go. And then I could put gold on the edges. So I may do that for the frame. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of different things you could do. Honestly, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. You can see inside this frame, I did the gold and the gold. And so I just based this whole thing gold. And inside the cracks, it's gold. But again, um, not a lot of these were black. I have This was black, and that's like the only thing. And you can see the gold behind it. But gold is what's popping through, but I think black could look cool. So I think I'm going to change it up and go with a black frame. And I'm just spitballing now and coming up with that right now. But I think the black will help these pop too. So you decide. Um, I'm going to continue making some of these and I will be back probably, like I said, the next, the next video will probably be more about arranging my uh, my tiles on my on my substrate all right so this is not enough I need more more all right thanks for watching